Hey guys, it's Ann. We're looking in on the African night crawlers in the vermi bag little mammoth, and uh, I appear to have made a mistake that I am gonna now have to work kind of hard to fix it. So stick around if you want to see how it is that I'm going to fix having done something so dumb. <laughs> so last time I fed a mixture of the coconut and some crackers and some pita bread and just kind of laid it on the top and poured some water on top of it and this is what has happened it turned into a solid brick on the top and the worms did not get into it even though I added two liters of water to it um, what I have here is a bunch of things that are not edible for the worms so hang on I am going to start taking this stuff out and putting it in a bucket and getting it properly wet and then as we're putting Humpty Dumpty back together again and feeding him new food this week we'll talk about what I did was wrong and how it is I cannot do it again all right hang on we're gonna move you over to the floor all right here we are back at the bucket now I have taken everything that did not uh, work out very well and have put it into this, you know, four or five gallon bucket. But what I wanted to show you was that all of these um, tortilla chips and crackers and stuff that I put in there now all really need to be broken up. I guess that, you know, includes paper towels, although I think they would have been fine if everything else was fine. So I'm just going to take everything that I found in there that is not normal. And I'm putting it in a bucket and I'm going to get it rehydrated. So I think rather than trying to continuously dump water into my um, vermi bag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it wet in this bucket and make sure that it's completely hydrated. And then that way I don't have to worry about drowning the entire bag and making a problem for the rest of the system. So you can see that the... I guess some of that was paper towel um, and then the crackers sat on top of the paper towel and then the pita bread sat on top of that. All bad. So what I've got here is some warm water and I'm going to put in about four liters or an entire gallon of water in here and I'm going to make sure that all of this stuff is properly hydrated. Um, me just trying to pour a little bit of water on top of this when I fed it was completely insufficient um, to keep it hydrated within the bin. So I think this is going to be the best course of action is to take it and actually dunk it in water and let it puff up again, rehydrate, and then I will give it back to the worms in a form that they can eat. And you can see that coconut with those uh, steel oats. They didn't do anything at all. They just sat right there. Obviously a huge mistake um, for some people. You know, I, I keep saying I'm not an expert. This is uh, my journey, my worm journey that I'm taking you guys along with. And I hope you learn from my mistakes. And so, you know, this is going to be on the list of Anne's epic failures of trying to feed things in a form that the worms and bin critters simply could not you know get into and you see I mean as I'm picking this stuff up there's no worms in here the worms you know if there's nothing they can feast on there's they're not going to be around so there's no worms getting dunked in the water right now and even if they were it would be okay because this water has been you know buffered and stuff because uh, it is tap water so I am going to let this soak. I'll give it a couple of hours. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll put the bin back together and feed it up with some properly wet food. And hopefully the worms can go back to normal and I will quit screwing up. All right, bring it back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Now, in addition to going and taking all of the... Um, hard items out of here. I also spent that time that I was waiting for things to puff up and also put another gallon of water working it in to um, all the rest of the things underneath just to make sure that 
everything can bounce back. Now, I don't see a lot of worms, but they have probably dug very deep to get away from the, the dry top. So we might not see them this time around. Um, maybe we'll get a good worm ball next time, but when, you know, bad worm mamas uh, make mistakes, then the worms aren't adorable for the camera, and so then we don't get um, a nice worm ball. Okay, so we've got the rest of everything nice and uh, wet again. I'm going to go ahead and put the stuff that was improperly put in, I'm going to put that back on top. Okay, there was some water left over, so basically I'm going to have to wait and see if, uh, when I make more bedding, if I can use that liquid. But I'm going to take these crackers that still didn't break up, even though I had them soaking in water. I'm going to try and go through and make sure that I've corrected my error here and got all of that completely broken up. Wow, what a mess. All right, well, the good news is the worms are going to get something that they are truly going to enjoy. It will make up for my transgressions, and they will be adorable with a worm ball next time. First things first, we've got beets that expired in the cabinet. They've been rinsed, etc. Mushrooms passed their uh, sell-by date. And then we have got some pureed pumpkin. And that's probably about a gallon or maybe three or four liters. So um, I do my own canning. And uh, for those of you who know, I used to work at the Libby's factory. This is actually my pumpkin, not theirs. Because uh, once you work in a factory that does food, you kind of don't want that food anymore. <laughs> okay, so they've got pumpkin, they've got beets. Just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and put a very generous amount of grit in here. Um, get them going again. Hopefully I will be in a situation where we can do a harvest next time. But we are going to give them a copious amount of prepared bedding to top off this very wet feeding. Okay. Well, that is my mistake. So when you're feeding bread products, make sure that they are sopping wet before you put them in your worm bin. I actually did know better, and I thought that adding the water on the top would make it better, but I was wrong. No more doing that for me. In fact, if you watch the European Nightcrawler video, I'm gonna go back down in the basement, and I'm gonna dig those tortillas up, and I'm gonna get them sopping wet. <laughs> so. Yeah, lesson learned. Again, sometimes, you know, you learn by error and sometimes you think you're, uh, you're making so much prog progress in your life as a worm farmer that you can skirt the rules and yet here we are. Well, if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, ring that bell icon. Now I'm going to uh, link to where I made the fatal error over here for that video. So you can see what I did and then you can follow along going, man, that's going to be dumb. Don't do that. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.